Well, as we've been mentioning, today is World AIDS Day, and the United Nations is releasing a new report to mark the day. According to data presented in the report, AIDS can end being a public health threat by 2030, but only if communities on the front lines get the full support they need from governments and donors. Authors of the report urge governments across the world to, quote, unleash the power of grassroots communities across the world to lead the fight to end AIDS. We know that there is a path to end AIDS. We are celebrating the fact that there's tremendous progress that we've seen in the global HIV response. AIDS deaths, for example, have decreased by nearly 70% since they peaked in the early 2000s. There are fewer new infections now than ever before. This is great progress that countries around the world have made. Yet still 9.2 million people around the world are living with HIV and do not have access to life-saving treatment. Every minute, a life is lost to AIDS across the globe. And every week, 4,000 adolescent girls and young women are newly infected by HIV. It's not a fate. We can change it and we know how to do that. It's the communities that know best. They know how to design how to implement, how to monitor HIV programs and strategies to reach the people most in need.